Sorry I'm late guys, I'm making a Um... What do you got, a pen I can borrow? <coughs> the water's gonna warm up, that's just nature, okay? The molecules start going back. Hello? Oh yeah, I'm free. I'm <coughs> so like, once the sun, you know, comes out, it kinda like makes the plankton grow, you know? Enhance phytoplankton growth, enhance DMS production. That basically means that it's just moving. Enhance phytoplankton growth back to the left. Enhance DMS production up elevated DMS connection. It makes the plankton grow, and then after the plankton grows, it enhances DMS production, which kind of. I'll make it today. Um, I have a presentation shortly that's coming up. Um, it's about phytoplankton, molecules, and um, a lot of generalizations uh, in um, uh, city populations. So, oh, you know what? Uh, I'm going to turn off my cell phone real quick. Sorry, guys. Let me just do that. All right, so we're going to be talking about claw hypothesis. So as you can see, when we have more increased sunlight, um, that goes into the ocean, and that makes the ocean warm up a lot more. As the ocean warms a lot more, we have enhanced um, phytoplankton growth, and then that leads to enhanced um, DMS production. Because of that, we can have enhanced um, phytoplankton growth. Um, this is uh, very important for the wildlife in the sea, and after it goes down to the ocean, uh, it warms up the ocean, and as you can see, we can follow this path here, and it goes into enhanced phytoplankton growth, which eventually leads to enhanced DMS production. You guys can follow the whole cycle um, on this handout that I have here. It has the whole um, loop that we're going to be going through. Um, we're going to start off with the sunlight here that goes down into the 